Good morning, this is Josh Bullivant with Trapper's Landing Lodge. It's January 19th this morning. We're halfway through January. Uh, still seeing that bite stay strong across Leech Lake. Usually in years past, this is when a time when it slows down, but with the warm weather, consistent weather, that bite's been staying at us. So we've been busy this week trying to expand some of our ice road around the Huddles Reef area, Rogers Point area. Um, we were also busy moving houses the last couple days and also cleaning up from a couple inches of snow that we got earlier this week. So we're getting everything prepped, ready for this weekend for everybody. We'll have well over 300 ice houses out, or 300 ice cutouts ready for you guys. Not ice houses out, but 300 ice cutouts will be well over that. Uh, we're expanding, like I said, up on that Huddles Reef Zone. That was our best bite last weekend, also in the Rogers Point area. So those of you watching, if you've got your big diesel rigs, we are allowing those out there. The smaller diesel rigs pulling houses less than 24 feet, you can go wherever you want. Those bigger diesel rigs coming up here with the bigger houses, bigger than 24 feet, we're still going to limit you to roads A, C, and D. So that would be down here at the Rogers Point area. So Huddles Reef is, we just aren't quite ready yet for those big ones up there. So we didn't grow a lot of ice this week. So, but um, we're unlimited down on that A, C, and D roads. Uh, the smaller diesel, three quarter ton diesels or one tons pulling houses less than 24 feet, you can go up to that Huddles Reef area. Uh, we are also asking anybody coming up, watch your speeds, it's important out there. Yes, we have big, long, wide, straight roads out on the lake and they make you wanna drive a little bit faster, but please keep your speeds down. That keeps our road safe for everybody to keep going on there, also keeps you safe. So keep it below 10 miles per hour. I know it's a long ways out, Huddles Reef from the resort, but you will get there. There'll be plenty of cutouts up there. We're making sure of that right now. Good structure, we're cutting out to those areas. As for the walleye bite this week, uh, we've had a little bit of lower pressure going on uh, from anglers. So we've probably seen 10 to 15 anglers out of, out of the resort this week. The guys that we have talked to, they are catching fish. Uh, last weekend, they were catching fish. Looks like we're in that time of transition where a couple weeks ago or uh, the week before last weekend, they were all in that 10 to 15 foot was our best bite. Now we're starting to see that go 15 to 20 plus feet. So you're gonna wanna set up more on the bottom of a break line if you can. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's rock to sand or just a solid uh, sand break line, we're still seeing fish get caught in all of those zones. So make sure that you can do set up where your ice house is on some sort of depth change, whether that goes from 17 to 20, 15 to 17, try and use your camera, scout around, use your Navionics, look in those cutouts and try and get your ice house set in those transitions. We've also seen fish starting to get caught more off a jigging spoon right now. Fish very aggressively. Whatever you did to get that walleye to come in, keep doing that. Have them chase a little bit more. I was getting reports of guys catching fish three, four feet off the bottom before they finally hit it. So uh, timing that right with your, uh, with your flasher, uh, with your live scope or your mega live, uh, having, guy, having them chase that up there, you'll be able to get those fish. So fish aggressively right now. Uh, that weather's been pretty consistent around here. It looks like we're gonna have another warm weekend in front of us. So it'd be a great time to get out, uh, do some fishing. Great weekend for that, weather looks good. Uh, for you guys looking for eel pout as well, same spots as the walleyes. This has probably been the best eel pout bite I've seen since I've been up here. Uh, out on the lake, especially on the main lake, seems like everybody last weekend caught eel pout. Uh, so it didn't matter what depth, we had guys catching them in 10 feet, we had guys catching them in 30 feet of water. So great eel pout bite going on right now. Same thing, set down your rattle wheel lines closer to the bottom, that four to six inches. Pound the bottom with your jigging spoon, uh, noisy rattle spoon like a buckshot flutter spoon or a buckshot um, coffin spoon, something loud to get their attention, bring them in and you'll find some eel pellet. The perch bite also has been going strong all the way across Leech Lake. Uh, we saw a lot of keepers coming in to the lodge last weekend. Also still a lot of two to four inch perch. Uh, you don't have to necessarily be in the weedy bays like normal. We're starting to see them go out to those rock piles, out to some scattered rocks, the gravel areas right now. You are gonna have to, like I said, weed through those small fish, but that's a good sign of the ecosystem. Uh, starting to rebound, lots of bait fish, lots of food out there. So perch, looking at, if you're looking daytime, I'd say 10 to 15 foot range. 
find some rocks. You want to find them about this big down there. Uh, find those transition zones or gravel. Uh, jigging spoon with Euro larvae, red Euro larvae, or waxworms on them. Even a minnow head seem to be working pretty well for them. You just got to get them to, again, play fish aggressively with it and keep moving. Sort through. You will find plenty of those 8 to 9 inches out there as well. Plenty 8 to 9s to bring home, which is a good keeper. But also we are seeing some jumbles starting to come in, some of those 11, 12, 13 inches. We've seen a few of them, just not as many yet. So fishing's been good across the lake out here. We're expanding on our zones uh, way up here in Huddles Reef. Right here we'll be expanding areas here, expanding a little bit over in our Rogers Point zone for everybody coming up this weekend. So we still have some onshore availability if you guys are looking, So, which includes the ice road, use of our pro shop gear. And we also just had a day house open up this weekend. So if you're looking for it to come up, uh, need something to stay in, uh, we have one of our day houses available. No sleepers, unfortunately, available until Sunday night. So give us a call, 218-836-2500. Also, check us out at the Merit. The Merit does do drive up access right from the lake. You can order to go. And we're going to have some great specials. Follow us on the Merit Dining for those specials. We'll also post them here on Facebook. So from all of us here at Trapper's Landing Lodge, we hope to see you on the ice.